For the final video in this series, I'm going to walk you through a brief tour of the music library space so that you're familiar with where materials are located when you come to visit the library in person. To start with, you will notice that as you enter the building on the first floor, there is an information desk. This is the best place to go if you have any questions or need directions. The music library is also here on the first floor of Gorgas. The main entrance is located next to the Java City Coffee Shop. The Music Library is home to our collection of music books and scores, as well as several computers, a printer, and two whisper booths. At the University of Alabama Libraries, we use the Library of Congress classification system to organize books and other materials by call number. You can think of the call number as the item's address on the shelf. Call numbers for music books and scores will typically start with the letters M, ML, or MT. M for music scores and miniature scores. ML for music literature such as biographies and other books about music history, and MT for books about music theory, pedagogy, and conducting. You will also find A2 books in the MTs. Call numbers are typically listed on the spine or the front of the item. You can use the call number guides on each shelf to determine where the item is located. Most music materials can be found on the movable shelving units near the back of the music library. Here's the basic layout. Starting with the shelving unit on my left, the first shelf, back and front, contains music reference materials. These are resources like dictionaries, encyclopedias, and various research guides that do not circulate, meaning they typically cannot be checked out by library users. The rest of the shelves on this side house non-music materials, so you don't need to worry about accessing them. To my right, you will find scores, many scores, books in the ML range, and finally books in the MT range at the very back of the room. If you need to access a shelf that is closed, simply press the appropriate button to move the shelves. The control panel should display a green light, which indicates that the shelf can be moved. These shelving units are getting old and can be quite stubborn at times. If you run into any issues getting a shelf to move or the control panel is displaying a red light, please visit the desk for assistance. In addition to books and scores, the music library also houses whisper booths, which are sound isolation booths designed for small audio projects such as voiceovers and simple keyboard and acoustic instrumental recordings. They each include a professional microphone, an 88-key keyboard, and an iMac computer with software like GarageBand and Logic Pro. Reservations to use them can be made through the library website. If you need to check out any materials from the library, this can be done at the circulation desk on the second floor. CDs and DVDs are kept in closed stacks, but can also be requested at the circulation desk. When you are ready to return your items, you can use our book drops located outside the building or inside next to the first floor entrance.